Welcome back. Nearly all of us have one of these. Oh, yeah. Obviously, a cell phone, and they are being stolen at an alarming rate. It's true, and now Cincinnati is taking steps to protect you from mobile phone thieves. Nine on your side reporter Bryce Onslinger is live with what the city of Cincinnati is doing to make things harder on those thieves. Bryce? Well, that's right, Carol and Tanya. A recent study shows that one in three thefts involve a cell phone. That makes this the most stolen item in all of the United States. And what's also concerning is how quick thieves can get cash once they take your phone. On a beautiful afternoon in downtown Cincinnati, it's easy to spot dozens of cell phones on tables as people take a break from the workday. I just figure that if I leave it on this half of the table that, you know, it, it's like they can't strike that far. Anthony Graziani knows how easy it could be for a thief to walk off with his phone if he's not paying attention. I have thought about that before where people are walking by so quick they could just snag something and run off. When you're talking distracted at lunch, you might not always keep an eye on it and someone could walk by or yeah, you never know. The problem for police is how easy it is for thieves to profit once they steal a cell phone. This is not a downtown problem. This is a regional problem. Right now, dozens of stores around the city will buy a cell phone for cash, no questions asked. Some even advertise that they can unlock a phone in less than 15 minutes. To have something like that stolen is, is definitely an offense that is personal. Council member Chris Seelbach says a new ordinance would reduce cell phone thefts by making it harder for thieves to profit from stealing them. The ordinance would require cell phone stores to be licensed and they would be required to document who they bought the phone from and the serial number on the device. Steps already taken by copper dealers and pawn shops. I love the uh, revitalization that's going on downtown, especially on a nice day like this where you can eat outside. And if there's an initiative going on so that I can feel safer while I'm here, I think that's only a positive. And Councilmember Seelbach says the city's finance committee will vote on the ordinance Monday with the entire council expected to vote on it Wednesday and he expects it to pass. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live in Mount Adams. Bryce, thank you. You know, Pensacola